Okay, so we've been messing with our uh, uh, database table here quite a bit, and basically we've gotten it down to where we deleted all users except for one, and she's in there uh, five times. Uh, luckily, not too long ago, I did a backup of my database, so let's see how we can restore that. Uh, so we'll just type in exit here to exit out of MySQL, and um, if I list files in my directory, you can see that I have two, uh, and we have data backup and backup SQL. Uh, let's go with uh, data backup.sql. I think that's the one that I want to import. We'll have a look there. So basically, our command is going to be this we're going to say mysql u for user root dash p and your password with no space. Once again, uh, be sure to watch the previous tutorials before jumping in here because you might be a little lost. Uh, then we're going to say the database that we want to uh, restore to, which in this case is Films by Chris. And then we're just going to use the less than symbol, a little Waka symbol there. And we're going to say the name of the file that we want to restore back into it. So we'll just say database or data backup.sql. We'll hit enter. Ooh, okay. Um, ah, I typed something wrong. It's Films by Chris, K R. There we go. And it's Films. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. No error, so we should be good. So now we can log back into our database with SQL dash H local host dash U root and our dash P for password and our password. Once we're in here, we can say use database films by Chris. And now if I say select asterisk from, so that means select everything from the table users semicolon will hit enter you can see that it's restored back to uh, that older database um, so that is I've gone over in the past how to back up your database and then this is how I restore I should have done this tutorial right after but I wanted to mess up the database a little bit more so that's why we did other tutorials in between so we're back to our original database with our original users and uh, uh, our four columns. So that is how you can restore. Let's, uh, since that was so short, let's re review real quick. Basically, we've got uh, MySQL dash U for user, root user is the user we're using, dash P for password and your password with no space between the P and the password, the name of the database you're restoring to, and then less than and the name of the SQL file that you've backed up previously. So, uh, there you go. We've, we've learned how to back up databases, learn how to back up tables. We learn how to restore those databases tables. We learn how to back stuff up to SCV, comma separated value files, and how to restore from those as well, or actually import uh, from those type of files. So we're moving quite along. Uh, it's funny because when I started doing this tutorials, uh, just to let you know, I'm doing all these MySQL tutorials in one day so far. I uh, was planning on doing like three to five, and I think I'm at like over 10 now because um, I just keep on seeing more and more things I want to teach you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying these, um, and uh, I still have more to come, I think. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.